and this would be a lot better for like a pantry or maybe a special garage door or something but when you open it it cuts itself on you got one video bouncing down while we record another one so technically, with the home monitoring bundle, really, really two other products were kind of released the same day, uh, which one of them is the WISE Entry Sensor version 2. So they had contact sensors that they came out with about a year and a half ago, um, but these released with the home monitoring bundle. They're in the home monitoring bundle, and you can buy these separately. So I figure a lot of people are going to buy these, and they're going to want to know, well, how do you hook these up to your wise sense like what exactly do you do so in this video we're going to unbox our wise entry sensor version twos this this is a three pack this is not the one that comes with the home monitoring kit this is bought separately price is uh, right here once we unbox it we'll go through the app and show you how to add one of these to your wise account so click that like button for me make sure you click subscribe because we got more videos coming check out indulgeclothing.com to grab yourself some of the merch now uh now let's get into the wise entry sensor version two unboxing and setup. So now we are going to, let me see, that may be too, too far away. No. So we're going to unbox the new Wise Entry Sensor version 2 three pack. Now, as you can see here, this looks a little different than what actually comes in as home monitoring bundle. You get these little Wise Entry Sensors that uh, actually don't even say version 2 on the packaging, which I found kind of interesting. The actual sensors are version 2, and they come individually in these little packages. Let's uh, get a trusty screwdriver. Well, I guess let's look around the box. On the back, you just got Wise Entry Sensor version 2 3-pack. Uh, requires the Wise Sense Hub or Bridge. Now, I don't know what it means by or bridge. This is, of course, the Wise Sense Hub. This Sense Hub comes with your home monitoring bundle. But uh, I kind of hate that they did that. It just makes it to where anybody who wants to do some cool home automation with their Wise color bulbs or with their Wise regular bulbs, uh, they got to buy how much ever this thing is, which I don't even know if you can buy by itself yet. And then you also have to buy um this three pack barcode on the bottom wise on the top wise entry sensor v2 three pack and no wow so it is uh three just entry sensors here else not even a quick start guide or anything wait wait there's something here in the front yeah there's a guide in the front <laughs> how are you supposed to get that oh oh so that comes out for you okay there we go here's our quick start guide so that kind of does it for the wise entry sensor version 2 three pack unboxing uh, these are of course all just uh, inside of these little plastic sleeves. So you take it out, you pull your uh, tab to start your battery, and um, let's see what you do in the app to add one of these. Oh, wow. All right, so let's uh, go through adding one of these sensors if you already have, if you already have your Wise Home monitoring bundle set up, Wise Sense Hub set up, you uh, open up your packages go into your wise app of course all right so once you get to uh once you get to your wise app you click your wise sense hub and then you'll see all of your stuff here your keypads your sensors and of course you just click your little plus sign in the top right corner and then uh they have everything here even the old sensors wise contact sensor wise motion sensor and then entry and motion sensor v2 so we have an entry sensor version 2 it tells, of course, to remove the plastic tab, so we will pull that out. Tab is out, and then uh, you just press and hold this button until it flashes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. About four seconds. And 
and there it is. So I'm actually going to try to use this one upstairs bathroom so that when you open this door, it'll just like leave the light on for 10 minutes. So we're going to call this upstairs bathroom. And then share with a family member, maybe later. And then uh, you just follow these steps to put your sensor up. And then, of course, if... Uh, if I wanted to set up these others two, I would just go right back to the same spot. Definitely a uh, nice, easy setup process for these sensors. And you also hear downstairs. I mean, I don't have any way to show you because I wasn't down there, but I could hear the uh, I could I could hear the Sense Hub say like um, device added right before those Alexa messages came in. One thing I thought I would get asked for a lot is the battery replacement for the Wise Entry Sensor Version Two. As you can kind of see, there's this uh, crevice all the way around, and uh, a flathead probably works best to pry this off with. But just put your flathead in and turn, and then there you go. It pops right off the back. It just takes one AAA battery. They sadly, of course, uh, don't give you a good name brand battery, but it's a battery. And this does only go back on uh, one way, which is this white part here on the inside goes against the battery. And then you just press. All right, so let's go over something pretty cool that you can do with the WISE Entry Sensor version 2s. So if you go into your WISE app, now you have to, of course, have WISE bulbs for this as well. But I have WISE bulbs in my upstairs bathroom. So... I'm selecting my upstairs bathroom. It tells me all the times that it was opened and closed, etc. If you click your settings button, you can come over here to rules. When you go to rules, click your other settings button, and you have all these rules you can create. So shortcuts, schedules, device triggers, etc. So I'm going to select device trigger. I'm going to call this on. Right? And so then we'll add a device trigger. So select what product you want to trigger this rule. The product that I want to trigger the rule is the upstairs bathroom. When the trigger opens, I want it to upstairs bathroom one, turn on this light. And then let's add the other light. Turn on this light. All right? So now we got upstairs lights on. Let's go see if it actually turns on the lights when we open the room. I also got to add um, another device trigger called off. All right, so we have all of our stuff set up, our upstairs bathroom. And this would be a lot better for like a pantry or maybe a special garage door or something. But. When you open it, it cuts itself on. And so now this light will stay on for 15 minutes once this door is closed again. So, uh, you know, you could set that however you want it, but that's just how I did for this test. All right, well, that will do it for the WISE Entry Sensor version 2. Uh, that's, that's the steps you would take to add one of these sensors to your account. Not complicated at all. Definitely once you have stuff like your home monitoring bundle set up, uh, it'll make something like this super, super quick. Two thumbs up to Wise, of course. Click that like button for me. Click subscribe. Indulge in your life and check out Indulge Clothing to grab some of the merch. And we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.